Anyway, students in Rome team up to help others. Mary Shovlin is going to show us now how they're turning bottle caps into prosthetic limbs for patients in Africa. With simple bottle caps that we throw away every day, these students at Istituto Massimo are giving people in Africa a better future. We usually throw our caps in the bin and, um, and we don't use them again. Instead, we can um, break them into many pieces and then um, melt them and make a wire like this. That wire is used to make limbs like these. Volunteers teach the 69 students who signed up. With their help, not only are they making prosthetics, these kids from 8 to 15 years old are also making the 3D printers themselves. This team of 20 uh, parents that are engineers, professors uh, from high school, university, that are technicians, but also doctors uh, who like to do this stuff. We have lots of volunteers so, who help uh, in order to do this course. By using crowdfunding, they created Crowd for Africa to get the word out. Even big corporations like Visa and Volkswagen jumped on board. We put our idea on the platform on the internet and uh, um, we, we asked for uh, a small amount more of money, like 50 euros or 100 euros, to help us doing the project. And with a, a little help of everybody, we reached three times the goals that we needed. They began last year by making drones, which they were able to present to Pope Francis. Impressed by their efforts, the Holy Father challenged them to make their next project something that could help others. This year, they went back to the Vatican to show Pope Francis their new project and were able to capture this moment when he blessed the new prosthetic hand. The students are using their knowledge to give back. Some are even making toys with the 3D printers to send to Africa. And Patrick here was nice enough to use his to do a little bit of marketing for us. In Rome, Mary Shovlin, EWTN News Nightly. What an uplifting story, Mary Shovlin. Thank you so much.